have so so my dinner. So good. I'm just need a snack. What? <laughs> okay. My friends. <laughs> at the same time. There are times when you should turn off your sound and turn off your video. If you're dying to eat, if you're hungry, that's one of the amazing things about a Zoom class. You can do it, but nobody wants to see it. So again, <laughs> tap your screen, use your mouse, go down and see the little video thing. While you're chewing, while you're eating, go ahead and turn off your video. Everybody in your class will greatly appreciate it. Hey, um, excuse me, I have a question about this thing that you were just talking about a while ago. Um, hey, I hey do you know where my shirt is? What? Are you what? lying? Yeah. <laughs> Come in here. Okay, sometimes things happen like that. Maybe you are in the middle of a class and some something happens. Um, you might want to warn all of your extra people that you have in your house that you're in the middle of a class and here's here's your shirt. <laughs> what I love about Zoom is being able to see everybody else's sewing space. issues with having a cat and your door open the cat might come entertain itself across your work surface and if you shut the door the cat may try to crawl underneath the door pull underneath the door to make noise so if it's outside you could always mute what I do is I lock the door the cat in another area of the house whenever I'm doing zoom classes so that I don't get that little behind action going on <laughs> What I love about Zoom is no more packing and unpacking. Did you know that if you go to the website globalquiltconnection.com, you can find a list of many, many teachers from around the world who are teaching virtual classes. Take a look at what they have to offer and call up your guild representative and say, I want this teacher. They will love it, I promise. Virtual teaching really has opened up the globe to quilters everywhere.